video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Jerome Boateng. Yes, it's been a while since we've taken a look at a real world-class player in the peak of their powers and, you know, around mid-age, mid-20s or something like that. So, I figured, why the hell not take another look at one of the best centre-backs in the game, Jerome Boateng. And only 26 years of age at the start of career mode. So, he's not that old either. And you can definitely get plenty of good seasons out of him. He is definitely one of the top centre-backs in the world right now, playing for one of the top sides in the world right now. And you know that he can even get even better. He does actually have a higher potential than his 87 overall of 88. So, that does leave some room for improvement. But the whole point of this video is to see if he can get to that 88 potential and maybe even go a little bit further. And then, of course, for being a slightly older player, how well he can maintain that overall. Let's take a look. An 87 rating, as I've said before, again, now we look at the mental and the physical. Again, he's got very decent pace for a centre-back, of course. It's a real advantage to have a quick centre-back and a tall centre-back like Boa Tank. Again, ball control, you need necessarily you need necessary ball control or good ball control. It really is a crucial thing for a centre-back as well. But of course, the defending attributes up in the 90s as well, like standing tackle and slide tackling, four-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, six foot four again, so the heights there, tackling and strength specialities, the long passer, the giant throw-in trade as well. You don't see that one too many he plays 87 overall 88 potential Jerome Boateng so without further ado then guys let's get this underway this journey to 2025 he's going to be about 36 by the time we get there I wonder what his overall is going to be well for now it's still the same it's still 87 no growth nothing being indicated nothing in the physical nothing in the mental nothing in the technical he's just gotten a little bit older he's in okay form unhappy morale hopefully that can change hopefully we can get a little bit of growth and that's that first season done Let's now begin the second season and hope for maybe a little bit better. I can understand him not growing up by one every single season, obviously being that overall and that age. But finally, we do get that. After the second season, we get a one overall increase. But this is the crazy thing. Nothing apparently has gone up according to the squad report. No stat has been increased, which is hilarious, or at least what's being indicated. I'm looking through, trying to find what's gone up. I think it might be the standing tackling that's now 91, and I think it was 90 before, but still. There are some stats that have, that have gone up. They're like ninja stats that have gone up, but still. 88. We've hit his potential in the second season. Can he maybe get a little bit higher than that? Hopefully he can. He's probably going to need to to keep that overall uh, at 2025 to keep it above that 87 or to keep that potential there. But unfortunately this time, again, throughout the entirety of the first three seasons, not a single stat has been indicated to have gone up, despite the fact that some definitely have, as we can see, or at least as we can't see because they're not bloody showing us. But an 88 overall at 29 years of age is what it ends on. He still has seven more seasons to go. 36 is what he's going to be in 2025. And what's his overall going to be? So here we are, 2025 with Jerome Boateng, one of the best of the best of the elite centre backs in the world. Jerome Boateng, he's hit his potential, but hasn't been able to maintain. What's his rating in 2025? He hasn't been able to keep his 88 potential, but he has been able to stay at that 87 overall, which we started him with. And he has really, obviously, started to drop off. Look at that value. It's $675,000 for an 87 rated center back. Even though he's 36, that just seems a little bit like, really? You let him go for that? But anyway, that's what we've got. A Jerome Boateng 87 rated dropping by one in this season. So he's actually maintained that 88 overall for the majority of his time in this little uh, journey to 2025. That's a fair effort. I 100% rate that. We do see the physical attributes going down so, so much. He's obviously a much different player to what he was before. A little bit slower, not as strong. And he obviously won't be as good maybe on ball. He's dropped off by a couple of stats. But I mean, still, 87 overall. To maintain for that long, brilliant effort at 36. Maybe because he's a centre back, he does it a little bit better. But still, we'll take that, Jerome Boateng. Brilliant work. Thanks for watching another 2025 video, guys. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below any other plays you would like me to do. If you want me to do another real top player in the world and see how well they maintain their stats in 2025, way down the line, or go back to maybe a younger gun, then just let me know in the comments. That's all you've got to do. Thanks for watching. My name's Masterbox. Don't forget to check out the Master Merchandise in the TMB store down below. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.